I noticed that you tend to paint about Native Americans. What is special about the Native Americans to you? Yes, I do. My father had told me stories about his side of the family and how the Native Americans had suffered so much through the Trail of, trail of Tears and the different things that had happened and the sadness of that. And so I try to reflect that on the canvas. I try to reflect the So sadness. you feel a relationship to that because there's some descendants in your family? Yes, my family was a mix of Caucasian and a little bit of Native American. David, I noticed that most of your paintings are focused on monkeys. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, when I was little, I remember going to the zoo in Chattanooga, and one time when I was there, I saw this older monkey, and he looked sad, and I was looking at him, he looked kind of downcast, and I thought, hmm, you know, about his feelings. Maybe he was thinking about being out in the wild and in nature somewhere instead of in captivity. So you prefer monkeys over other animals then? Yes, actually I do. Um, I think when I see monkeys, I relate strongly to their sadness. And in my paintings, I want to reflect that with the different colors. I try to reflect the mood of that. David, I noticed you paint a lot about your grandmother. Yeah, when I was little, my mom would take me to visit my grandmother very often, and um, we would be at her home, and I saw some eggs there and all, and she took me out to the hen house. Uh, they were Dominique chickens that she had, and I went into the hen house with her, and she was showing me the different eggs, and I really enjoyed that time with her You were really around, close to your grandmother, weren't me. you? Yeah, I was. I missed a lot of time with her growing up because I went to the Tennessee School for the Deaf, and I only was able to come home about two times a month. Yeah, and about at, at Tennessee School for the Deaf, you miss a lot being away from your grandmother. Right, and maybe see her during the summers. And she, as she got older, her health, of course, got worse and worse, and she got more frail. And I went away to a public. I went to a public school for about eight months. So you wish you'd have been able her. to see your grandmother more. Yeah, I missed her during that time too. I missed a lot of times with her.